was hot. I should have captioning on right now. What? <laughs> Wait, why is Brazilian Portuguese the first thing? <laughs> why was Brazilian Portuguese the first audio? It should. <laughs> I'm glad I checked out. I would have been like, wait a second. This doesn't sound right. Alright, let's go back. I wonder what the R's mean. The story. Alright. Ah! The white man! <laughs> the white man! Ah! The white man coming and taking things they shouldn't take! Oh my god! They didn't- They didn't even cut away! They didn't even cut away! They were just like, we're gonna hit her across the head with this. I was thinking they were gonna cut away, but- <laughs> Great prop work, I have to say. Great- Holy- I just- I also like, I, I love that because this is a movie from India, so they're just writing the white man. N not, not really exaggerated, but just like, all right, well, uh, I get why they had to put that disclaimer in the beginning for reasons, big quotes, but it's okay. It's okay. And then the next R. The fire. Oh my God. I'm loving this already. Hot plate got fucked me. I believe in you. Hold the line, damn it. Hold the line, suck this dick. Oh, why do them? Why do some of those hits feel like they actually connected? Of course, bro. You really thought that they were gonna like? Uh, they were gonna, you know, uh, what's the the word I'm looking for? Um. Promote you and shit? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and thank you to those who do be your own kind who go after, like. God, he. Uh, they oil him the fuck up. <laughs> this is like some Captain America, you know, fr fresh out of the chamber, like, spritz oil shit. <laughs> What's the third R mean? We got the story, we got the fire. What's this next one? Water. Ah. Uh, is this, is this like, Namaste. is this the last airbender? Mr. Venkat Avadhani. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting that this bowl is yeah, hot? What is wrong with me? Ooh! Ah! They love to hit things with fucking big ass branches and shit. It's like me trying to put on my pants. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to admire this great CGI tiger work they got going on here. That's some good ass CGI tiger work. Something that Neil Breen needs to learn. <laughs> oh my god, if Neil Breen if Neil Breen worked with Bollywood. <laughs> Out of your Ah <laughs> oh, the level of ridiculousness. <laughs> And this damn thing won't stop. I don't know, maybe you lose a couple of pounds, you big ass? Like, maybe that's why. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that, you stupid white man. Sorry. <laughs> oh, now he's embarrassed. He is the white woman I'll fall in love with. Like... <laughs> None of their stomachs were like, what? From the rope. <laughs> then a friendship develops, not realizing one's a cop. I love movies like this that have like, the songs are also telling like exposition as well, you know? This hand is mad close to his crotch right there. <laughs> this is the bromance we all wish we could have. Except for the whole one being a cop kind of thing, you know? Hey ladies, spike strip. I don't know about you, but that's how I speak to potential people. Is that I spike strip them. I wanna 
buy a bunch of trinkets so I can bring it home. And then maybe we'll Thank we'll go to a place called Coachella one day wearing these exact things. There's this little girl that's staying with us who is, you know, not allowed to mommy. leave and go back to her own family. I, I wouldn't say me. she's a slave, but a prisoner maybe, get... you know? Yeah. Yeah. She's just like, thanks for these things. Where are my parents? A bango? She's like, father! Father! <laughs> Murray's hair cream. Murray's hair cream. Every POC man knows about Murray's hair cream. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> this part just looks like... I know it's supposed to be set back in time, all that stuff, but just this one spot looks so anachronistic just by looking at it. It feels like it's it's like some kind of Disney shit, and they're like, oh, it's a Disney thing you go and take pictures at. And then these people are like, oh, shit. Okay, cool. Perfect thing that we can set our thing and, and, and film something. Like, like that couple who took pictures outside of the Olive Garden because they wanted some type of, like, Italian architecture. <laughs> the dance piece. And I keep stepping on the dress. I'm Look white. <laughs> Look at all these brown buggers. Look at all these chickens. <laughs> I cracked myself up too hard on that one. That's terrible. We're talking about racism. We're talking about chickens. Is that dancing? Honey, is that dancing? The tango! A white man's like, do you know about tango? Alright. <laughs> time- oh, time for the Bollywood dancing. Come on. I can't wait for this. Oh, uh, that's my favorite part of these movies. <laughs> Let's do it! Oh, it's so hard. Look at this. Not ripping a pair of pants at all. Good on them. I would've been ripping seams here and there. That was so good. <laughs> that was so good. Officer? Yes, sir. He's like, it's the brown yeah, guy. Hey, no. What the hell are you doing here? My, but my what fragility. God damn it. <laughs> this is my room. <laughs> these are my paintings. What do you think? And these are all the things we've stolen from other brown people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, as awful as the situation is happening right now, this fucking dress. This fucking dress. The color. Obviously, it's royal blue, duh, but it's like, god damn. God, alright, you know. But the rest of this is obviously awful, you know. Slavery, racism, all that stuff, but just god damn. <laughs> Honey, you're small enough. You can slip through. You can slip through the grate. Come on. I wasn't expecting there to be a song right there. Cue the second act music. We're in the second act. Although sometimes I wish my knuckle can crack like that because my shit hurts and some days I need it to just be like, you know. Oh, it's a snake. I was like, that's a weird snore this man has. <laughs> hey, buddy. Could you uh, just nibble on my vines for me, please? Wow. How do you, like, write that skill into a resume? <laughs> like, how do you put that skill into a resume? I really need to know. <laughs> Like, I've got a lot of these weird skills that don't make any sense, and I need to be able to put that down on a resume, you know? Your drum beat, is that for me? Can you feel the rhythm in the night? <laughs> it's like, what's going on? <laughs> My bestie, who I don't know is a cop. Ah! Uh! Oh, <laughs> sorry! That piece of coal he brought up, I thought he brought over a drumstick. Like, anyway, as you're dying, chicken. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I didn't realize it was a piece of coal. <laughs> yeah. Tum kal tak bilkul ho 
But like, how do you know the antidote is working? You know, the man is still like convulsing and barely able to speak. He's like, oh man, the antidote's working by these random plants that just so happen to be about like 10 feet from us on the street. Yes. <laughs> But I'm with this. I'm with this. I believe in this, you know? to be true the love between two men this shit's like fucking Times square at 2 a.m it's like ah <laughs> could you you got a dimmer on that shit ah oh my god like i used to work at, in Times square fucking coming into work at 6 a.m it's like ah <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, we're doing this. Oh my god. Oh fuck yeah. Why did she why does she look like Belle? Why does she look like Belle from Beauty and the Beast? Why does she look like Belle? Was that on purpose? This is weird. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With the white man. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah, your friend is a cop. Fuck that shit. Does it go into a grate? Does it go into a grate? Ah, no, it goes into a grate. How could we? Ah, the biggest fucking key in the world goes into the biggest hole in a grate. Shit. Fuck the police. <laughs> Uppies! Let's go uppies! Ah! Ah! <laughs> that hurts! Oh, here comes the fire versus water shit. Here we go. Yeah, this is the slow-mo that Zack Snyder wishes he could do. Like, correctly, you know? You get this gun. So when you kill your own people, eh, whatever. You gotta enjoy a, a quick flashback close to the third act of your movie, you know? God, my nose itches. They probably put the backstory now just because it's like, I don't know, maybe to like further try to get you to sympathize with the cop, even though like from, cause from the beginning, you know, you're like, fuck this guy. And then you're continuously like, fuck this guy. But I guess now you, you should be like, sure bro, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, sorry. I just looked up the, the, the budget for this movie and it's like, you know, bajillion rupees and i don't know math for a second that's well, how much that, that in american for 43 million dollars it costs and gross worldwide 99 million dollars like all like you know like, give it a little bit more it's gonna be a literally a bajillion dollars like like how much uh let's end game like big name end game end game costs Three hundred and fifty-six million dollars to make. Three hundred and fifty-six million. This movie costs forty-three million to make, and it looks just as good. It's just as long as this movie. It's just as ridiculous as this movie. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Oh man. Right. Oh. Oh. oh! Right in your mouth, bitch! <laughs> oh! Come on. You know how these movies are. There's gotta be one self-sacrifice in it. Come on. I goddamn watched Moonfall the other night. That movie was horse shit. Oh my god, I need to look that up. How much did Moonfall cost? That movie was fucking awful. 
how much did Moonfall cost? Because first of all, Endgame was a good movie. Moonfall cost... Moonfall cost half as much as Endgame. 150... Yeah, 150 million dollars. No, like, horrible. Horrible ass movie. Horrible ass movie. This one? Quarter that budget. Not really, but you know what I mean. Way better movie. Come on, people. Oh, it's his brother! Oh no! This is this is why they gave us the backstory. So you give a fuck about the guy who's a cop. So he decided to be a cop and fix the system from the inside. Ugh. See him bleed. Oh, okay. That's I I said this earlier where I said they had to cast the most like generic slash evilest white woman. Like, ever. Like, look at her. <laughs> She's the kind of lady that shows up, uh, like, at a store when it opens up, like, the moment it opens up on a Sunday and complains about coupons. And then, like, before that was at Starbucks bitching and moaning about how, you know, she ordered mobile 10 seconds ago. Like, she literally hit order on the mobile thing and went right to Starbucks and stood there, like... Tilly Tadling on the counter, like, why isn't my drink done? Because, again, it's everyone else's fault, not yours. You know, then go to a said store that's nearby that opens, like, you know, on Sunday. Goes there. Is upset that there's no one in the store. And, you know, like, just makes everyone's life a living hell. And just does not understand that the entire problem is her. You know? <laughs> and, um, that's, that's the, 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 the Punisher. That's the the Punisher, the second Punisher, not the. He he was, he was in Thor. He was like the chubby guy. Um, he was. Oh my God! I'm like, which monitor am I looking at? Yeah, he he was uh, the Punisher, not Thomas Jane. Punisher Warzone, the one where like he shot a rocket at a guy, uh, <laughs> and then he was in Thor. He was like the. He's he was like the tall Gimli guy looking guy. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna like. I was like, why does he look so familiar? Then he turned around. and I was like, oh. It's you. All right. We're almost two hours in. This this probably this is probably the beginning of the third act now. Ah! Ah! That's why they call certain people. Ma'am. 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 I was gonna say there's a reason why. Certain people are called a certain C word, which I can't say on Twitch because apparently it gets you banned. But anyway. Bitch, you serious? This is why you are called a certain word that again you can't say on Twitch because it gets you banned. <laughs> like <laughs> I mean some days I need that good stretch because of how fucked up my body is. You know, put me on the medieval torture device and like pull pull my shit because sometimes oh I like need need that you know <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> yes I love this yes I love this is amazing <laughs> this movie was made for me <laughs> and then he's gonna do sack like a self-sacrifice for the people and all that stuff because he had to go the shit way to do the right thing and all that stuff. Yeah! That's a redemption arc, motherfucker. That's how you do a redemption arc. Not that Kylo Ren shit, you know? Not that shit. I want the best hangman for the job. How are... <laughs> oh, hi, uh, hi. Um, best hangman over here? Hi. I have about, like, uh, 30, uh, hangs under, you know, my belt. And, um, so I'm really good at it. So <laughs> what I can do, right? Okay, hear me out, hear me out. So we'll put a hood over the guy's head, right? Because then it's like, ooh, is he spooky? I'll have, a, I'll have my hood on, too, because I like to be, like, really mysterious when I do it. And then, you know, like, in the midst of something, I'll just, sometimes I just feel like pulling the lever early, you know? I just feel like pulling the lever a little early, uh, just because. But anyway, I'll be your best hangman if you want. <laughs> like, the boy. Oh, my God. Thank you, sir. This is one of the very few shots in the movie where it doesn't feel like it's constantly in the magic hour. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I watched uh, Top Gun Maverick the other day, and that entire movie, like, everyone is, like, 
in the golden hour fucking, you know, colors and all that stuff. Like, everyone just looks like they're tan and all that shit. Oh my god. Of course. become a shitty cop but then I will do right but it will take was it like 15 years or whatever it said that's taking him yeah and they're all back at home like any day now any day now Dude. I'm a lead farmer motherfucker oh shit no one hears him screaming no god damn all right what amount of core strength was that like, they, I'm sorry, they did not just start that with the fucking Arctic Monkeys, like, Ford pickup truck chord. Ba -da -da -da. Do you know what it feels like to drive an F-150? <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Do you know what it feels like to break your bestie out, out of a prison? You know, <laughs> that's when you know you're driving a Ford <laughs> pickup truck. And they're gonna do a nut thruster. Nut thrust! <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! Alright! Excuse me, bestie. I'm gonna have to take off your clothes. Rub some more random plants all over you as I previously have. There are conveniently 10 feet from us, like before. And then you gotta do the praying. Remember, you gotta do all of the full metal alchemist shit, and then you gotta do the praying. If you don't do the praying, the shit will work. Oh yeah, give me that apocalypse now, Sean. Come on. Let's go. Fuck yeah. What? Like fucking Bucky in fucking Civil War? Come on, Bessie. We're gonna go kill the white man. <laughs> perfectly in the armory? Are we perfectly in the... Oh, shit. Great. This is the... This kind of slow-mo shit, this is how you do slow-mo, Zack Snyder, you know? Good shit, good shit. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, Mwah! chef's kiss. Oh, that makes it even better. <laughs> nice. Oh, one more dance sequence. Give me, give me the sequence. After like 15, 20 years, motherfucker's bat. <laughs> Here you go! A gun! You know what make things better? A gun! <laughs> <laughs> Just like blipsing this part, white woman. <laughs> that was amazing. That movie was fucking amazing. <laughs> that was so good. Like... <laughs> That shit was so good. Wait, can you do two thumbs up? Love this! Yes! Oh my god. That that was some good ass shit. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, man. Th th I swear to god, this movie was made for me. <laughs> Let's see, where my face? Oh, that's my face. Wait, I saw an IMDB. So, uh... Ram and Beam were freedom fighters of India who didn't meet in real life. The film is completely fictitious and based on the idea, what if they did meet? Okay. So these are based on real people, which I think, which also makes sense why in the beginning of the movie, they ke they kept being like, you know, uh, was it like, you know, the, the thing that usually comes at the end of movies, like any similarities to real people in life, and, da -da -da. and I was like, wow, they were really going in hard on like, this is fake. And I'm like, okay, get it now. I mean, it is ridiculous. Like, I think I'm just gonna give this five stars just because I feel like the movie was made for me. Like, as ridiculous as it is, as a lot of things, I'm just like, huh? I was like, fine, you know? Like, we turn, we pulled the flags off of the thing, turned them into pants somehow. I don't know, but it worked. I'm not mad, you know? Oh my god, this movie is definitely on like the best of like top ten list. I'm not gonna go that crazy and give it the five star. I'm gonna do the four and a half. Might seem a little mean. I mean, not mean. Most shit I've been 
what shit have I been watching lately? It's all been like one star. I've been watching a lot of bad movies lately. Oh, only lately. What am I talking about? Oh.